At the top of your monitor is the compass and waypoint strip. Look for the waypoint carrot with the number 1 attached Gear to it. Down. This shows the direction to your first waypoint. It will point you to a waypoint Gear lollipop up. in the distance. Turn the command sheet to face waypoint 1 and fly towards it. Stop at waypoint 1, but do not cross the dotted line. We're going to do some target practice. Waypoint. Good job. We're going to send some drones into the field in front of you. Press the cycle target button to get an active lock on the first one you see. Now that you're in the air, retract your landing gear by pressing the G key. This helps reduce your radar signature, making you harder for the enemy to spot. Switch over to your cannon by pressing number one on your keyboard and take out the first target. When you have an active lock, you'll see a special green targeting symbol overlay the target. Anything you fire will automatically be aimed at that point. Nice shot, rookie. Press two to switch over to your Hydra rockets and get a lock on the next target. Your Hydras are unguided, so they can't change direction in flight. However, the Comanche's computers can calculate a lead and increase your accuracy. You'll notice that the computer automatically adjusts for the speed of your target. If you have an active lock on a target that is outside the firing cone of your weapon, the active lock symbol will turn gray. Use your Hydras and Cannons to take out the next group of vehicles. Sitting in the Comanche with you is your co-pilot. The two of you make up the Griffin 216. Your co-pilot will be responsible for communications with command and calling out situational information. All systems are green. Let's boogie. Good shooting, Griffin 26. The two screens on your control panel are your multi-function displays. The left side MMD gives you targeting information, and the right side is your tactical situation display, or TSD. The TSD will show you different enemy targets in your area. There are different symbols for different types of enemy targets. Ground vehicles are circles, aircraft are triangles, people are crosses, and buildings are squares. You're a natural. In our next exercise, you will learn how to call in artillery strikes. Notice the group of oil tanks at the far end of the field. To select artillery as your current weapon, press the 5 key. Get a lock on one of the buildings and press the fire button. Once you press fire, you are free to engage other targets. It may take Copy a few Griffin seconds between calling for an artillery strike way. and having the rounds hit the target, so be patient. When you run out of artillery strikes, head in and mop up any remaining targets with your rockets and gun. Gear down. Woo! Look at it burn! Outstanding. Now, head over to Waypoint 2 Gear and we'll teach up. you how to reload your weapons. A FARP is a forward arming and refueling point. You can find the closest one by following the carrot marked Waypoint. with an F on your compass tape. On your TSD, it will be marked with an H. Hit the G key to lower your gear. Lower your landing gear or you'll crash. With your gear down, you'll see a box gear appear down. at the bottom of your screen. As you get closer to the FARP, a circle will appear in the box. The smaller the circle, the closer you are to the center of the FARP. When Reload the box goes sequence yellow, complete. you are directly over it. You're right over it. Hit the Gear Z key to up. start your landing. Gear down. Now, press and hold the control key to touch down. When you touch down, you will reload automatically reload your complete. weapons and repair any damage you have taken. If you want to choose a different weapons loadout, press the F8 key. This will bring up the FARP menu. Reload sequence initiated. From this menu, you can reload the default weapons or pick any configuration you think will be most appropriate. To load or unload a weapon, press the corresponding number and use the right and left arrow keys. You may have to offload some weapons to load others. You can also add a pair of EFAMs, External Fuel Armament Management System. These allow you to increase your loadout capacity. You can also remove them to increase your stealth. Once you've finished selecting your weapons, press the F8 key to close the menu. 
increase your altitude and remember to raise your Reload landing gear. sequence okay, complete. Okay, head on over to waypoint three. I'll be waiting for you there. Gear up. Fly into the square and remain there until I tell you to move. We are going into a live fire exercise. We have a number Wait of SAMs point. set up on the canyon walls to help us practice some nap of the earth flying. Okay, make sure everything is closed up and let's head out. Follow me to waypoint five. Don't get shot. The Comanche silhouette in the lower right side of your screen shows if your gear is down and whether or not your bay doors are open. By staying close to the ground, you can use hills and trees for cover and you'll be harder for the enemy to spot. They can't hit what they can't see. Pop above the hills and every SAM site in the area will get a good shot at you. Minimizing your radar cross-section is critical to staying alive in the field. Having your landing gear down or opening your bay doors will greatly increase your chances of showing up on someone's radar. Having your EFAMs attached also increases your visibility. So when they are empty, you can eject them by pressing the 8 key. Not bad for an old man, if I do say so myself. Waypoint. All right, you made it through. Now fly over to waypoint six and we'll discuss how to use stingers and hellfires. There's a farp in the area. There's a farp at waypoint six. Land there and load up on stingers and hellfires. Press the four key to switch over to your hellfires. Gear down. Reload sequence complete. Reload sequence initiated. Reload sequence complete. Gear up. Hellfires are laser-guided missiles designed to drop straight down onto a target. They are used to take out hardened bunkers and heavy armor. They aren't cheap, so don't waste them. See the vehicles in front of your location? Target one and pull the trigger. If you switch targets while the missile is in the air, it will try to alter course and hit the new target. Using this technique with multiple Hellfires is called Ripple Fire. To Ripple Fire, you will lock a target and launch two or more Hellfires about two seconds apart. Right after the first missile hits, press the cycle target to lock the next vehicle. The second missile, which is already in the air, will attempt to hit the new target. Repeat this technique to hit multiple targets as quickly as possible. Nice! Now move in and destroy the rest of the vehicles with your hydras and cannon. Bay doors open. For an air-to-air -air challenge, select stingers by pressing the 3 key. The stinger is a fast-moving, low-yield missile Gear designed to down. take out aircraft. It seeks out engine heat to home in on its target. A drone helicopter Reload will appear Reload sequence in front of you. complete. Lock Reload in, sequence stinger. initiated. Reload sequence complete. Gear up. That's a kill! Good shooting, Griffin 26. We are sending in Griffin 27 to work with you as your teammate. 
His Comanche will follow your orders and assist in completing missions. Hold on, 2-7. Roger, 2-6. You take the lead. Weapons are hot. To give him orders, press the 7 key.